Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Uh, I'm so sorry that I'm getting this to you guys a little bit late. I usually put this kind of video out uh, the same day that the arena ends. But round two of the Super Scroll Arena is over, and I did go for the five star. And we're going to take a look and see if I got the five star. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, he went really low. Uh, he went in the 40s, low 40s, I believe, um, last round. And so I'm pretty sure with the score that I put up that I got him. I haven't missed a champion yet, so we'll find out. And then we're going to take a look at the leaderboards and see if we recognize any names. All right, so without further ado here, let's go on over. And I see him over there, ranked 42. All right, so... Uh, we'll take a look, and we will see the score I put up. So first, let's take a look at the basic, which was Iceman. And we'll see if any names pop out at us. Uh, I'll try to look a little bit closely, but I'm really tired. Uh, I was up late last night, and I was working on something. And uh, didn't get a chance to put this video out. Now, get this. I was going to put this video out yesterday. And uh, I was watching some anime with my sister. And it was one that was subtitled, which means I can't really grind the arena while I'm watching it. But since I just finished this grind here, I just basically ran my six stars through did a little bit in the uh, three-star arena, and haven't touched it. I haven't even done my six stars uh, today yet. Um, so uh, after this video, I will be running my six stars through. Uh, but anyway, we were watching, and we got to watching, and uh, we took a little break. Uh, my mom needed some help uh, setting up uh, her shopping uh, online, uh, and we're going to be picking it up this morning in about two hours or so. Uh, we will pick up uh, her, uh, both her and my sister's um, food. And I'll be going in because I don't like using uh, that online uh, thing there. Uh, they <laughs> Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not so good. But anyway, uh, so my sister went upstairs to help my mom. And I was like, Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll make this video right quick uh, while she's up there helping my mom with that. And then when I'm done, I'll come back out and we can, you know, watch uh, a little bit more. But at least I'll have the video done. So as soon as she went upstairs, I, you know, came on in, set stuff up. And I started recording. Next thing I know, I'm hearing my name getting called out like there's a burglar in the house. You know, both both my mom and my sister have this tone where when they call me, it's always sounding like they're in a panic. You know, like something is about to happen. And uh, so, of course, that interrupted what I was doing. And all she was doing was calling because my sister didn't want me to maybe have fallen asleep, you know, because I'm in my room, the door is closed. And so she's calling outside my door, like something happened. A uh, gray wolf. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, and so that put a stop to me being able to do the video. I could have still said, you know what, just sit there and let me finish it. But I said, you know what, let me just go ahead uh, and, and watch that. And then when we got done, um, I came back in and I have been having a problem with, uh, my printer and it, it looks like my printer, it's an old printer. Um, I've had it for, oof, uh, over seven years, I think. And, uh, it's a Kodak ESP 7250. And uh, I have the latest software, but I can no longer install the software. I don't know what's going on. It's giving an error uh, telling me, check your network and, and things like that. 
and I noticed that some other people had a uh, similar problem. So I was doing some research trying to get that uh, working and I never did. Um, I might look again, see if anyone has some hack drivers or something, because uh, it is old and they no longer support it. So they may have shut down, you know, maybe the update server that the software was connecting to. I don't know. Uh, but if I could get that software installed, uh, I should be okay, but not guaranteed, you know? All right. So anyway, uh, so that was the four star basic. I saw only one name that I recognized. Sorry if you were there and I did not see you. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of tired. So my eyes are kind of glazing over a little bit. Uh, so here we are in the four star featured. I got this guy as a four star round one. Uh, he also went low. I think he went for like 8 million or so. Uh, as you can see, I put up just the milestones. Um, I could have put up another 4 million and duped him if I really wanted to, maybe 5 million, uh, but no need. Um, I have a four-star awakening gem if I really want to awaken him. Uh, and I'll do that when there is a, an advancement. So I can kind of, you know, get those points. All right, so let's see. Who else wanted Super Scroll so bad that they put up millions of points to get the top 200? Like Black Game, uh, sorry, like Black Gamer here. Congratulations, my friend. Rank 20. That is awesome. All right. Let's see who else. Man, I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. Oh, boy. Got to wake up. Got to wake up. I did run uh, uh, some AQ, though. Anyway, this arena, uh, the top 800 get the champion. So uh, we're only going to get to see, of course, the uh, top 200. And I do see names that I recognize because they're often on the uh, leaderboards. Uh, a lot of them are, are like me. And they just go for champions that they don't have. Uh, and I used to, when I wasn't going for the five star, what I used to do was first round, I always went for uh, the four star. Ever since I've been grinding for four star featured, which started um, with uh, Killmonger. That was personally my first four star featured champ that I went for. So since then, I've always gone for the four star if I didn't have them round one. Round two was the question. I would look and see what he went for or whatever the champion was, uh, whoever the champion was, uh, whatever they went for round one, uh, I would then make a decision. Uh, if it was low enough that I felt like I could put that score up with my roster without, you know, any difficulty, uh, then I would go for the five-star champion if I didn't have them. Um, but if I felt that my roster was not good enough and I would have to use units and all that, I would pass and just put up milestones or, or enough to get the shards, the five-star shards, and then I would go uh, into the four-star uh, featured and then just grind for the dupe. That's how I used to do it. El Nino, congratulations. Uh, but these days, uh, my roster has grown since then. And now I know that I can pretty much get any champion that I really want, um, just with enough time. Uh, the other change that they made, uh, not just you know, the, the changes that were made, not just to my roster's growth and size, but also to the arena itself. It used to be 150 um, was the cutoff. Top 150 got the champion. Now it's 300. That lowered cutoffs. Uh, the cutoffs are lower now than they were uh, when I was uh, struggling with a, a smaller roster. Now my roster is quite robust and the cutoffs are actually lower. So those two things combined 
uh, help me uh, get champions that I want as long as I, you know, have the time and the motivation. So far this year, I have grabbed every champion in the arena. So far, I don't think I'll be keeping that up, though. We'll see. All right, finally, finally, finally. Sorry if I'm rambling. I told you guys I'm tired. Um, here's the five-star feature. As I said, it was top 300. And you see the score that I put up. Uh, that is what I often try to do. And uh, it, it's a leisurely grind for me now. That used to be an all three-day grind set alarms, wake up early in the morning, all that good stuff. Um, but now I can do that uh, just relaxing, you know, and I put in enough for the other arenas, as you saw. Uh, it, originally, I couldn't do that. When I went for a champion, this was the only arena that I, you know, touched. But my roster is big enough now that I can do the other arenas and uh, I'm not burning myself out because I could have always done the two and the three and the four star basic, but that would have really uh, burned me out. Black Gamer, again, congratulations, uh, rank number six. Um, so uh, that is my new uh, strategy. Uh, one of the things that I do now, uh, like I did for this arena, if I know the champion is going to go low, uh, which, you know, if they went low round one, uh, and this guy went, I think he went for like 45 million. What I'll do is I'll start in the four star featured and I'll knock that out first. Then I will go over to the uh, five star featured and just run my six stars. You know, I'll, I'll use my low level four stars to get to win streak five, then use just my six stars and uh, stop. Then I'll go to the other arenas and try to get those done. Mark, congratulations. Um, that way, you know, if I can get the other arenas done early, I can focus on just this arena. Now, normally I don't run my uh, four stars. So what will happen is when I do the other arenas first, I'll be a little bit behind where I want to be. Like if I want to put up 60 million, I need to be putting out 20 million every day, right? But at the end of the day, first day, if I'm doing the other arenas, I'm not going to have 20 million. I'm usually going to have about um, 16 million, maybe, uh, something like that. Maniac, congratulations. So, uh, what I'll do after I get the other arenas done, I'll actually run my four stars maybe once or twice, uh, to help me catch up. And so by the end of the second day, I was at 40 million. And so I stopped because that's where I was, you know, planning to be. And I was all caught up. And so I went and did some other things. Uh, and that's how I kind of pace myself. Um, ben Riley, congratulations. So, Dahish, haven't seen you in a little while, man. Congratulations. Uh, but that's that's how I do it now. Uh, but uh, if a champion goes really high, uh, Big Sexy, what it do? Congratulations. Um uh, if, if a champion goes really high, I might end up, you know, sacrificing some of the other arenas. I don't want to sacrifice them because I want those units. Now, uh, if you look at my units right now, and you can maybe remember, uh, Brandon, congratulations. Uh, and you might remember that I was up to about 10 million, uh, 10,000 units. Well, uh, on the last stream, uh, Damadeus, congratulations. Uh, and what is that? Sanmio, who almost missed you. Congratulations. I haven't seen you in a while either. Um, I spent, uh, units for the offer at the end of completing the Cavalier difficulty. So I have like six 
uh, 30% boost in my overflow. I have five Cavalier crystals. I got the offer last month too. And the reason that I got the offer is I'm always in the arena and I actually made up what I spent last month. By the time I got this offer, I had already gotten all the units back. So it's worth it to me. It comes with 5,000 six star shards. That's really what I get that for. The other stuff is awesome, but I get it for those six star shards. And right now I can open up, I think four uh, six stars. And uh, I'm trying to hold out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, uh, but I'm trying to hold out for when the uh, pool changes. Coat hanger, congratulations. Uh, when the pool changes, they're going to add, uh, I know, Cosmic Ghost Rider, and I don't know who all uh, is getting added to the uh, basic pool. But I'll have a, a big boy opening uh, by the time that comes around. All right, we're coming to the end here. And that is it. So 100 people that we don't see got the champion, if you're one of those. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what score you put up. And even if you didn't make the leaderboards, leave a comment and your score and your ranking. If you missed him, if you got him, uh, I know people are curious. I'm curious. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.